It's no secret that we're currently in the middle of a global pandemic. And regardless of your personal feelings toward that, a lot of things have changed for a lot of people, with some people being unable to visit friends and family, working from home, interviewing for jobs online, and even streaming for the first time, I thought that now might be a great opportunity to explore some budget microphone options for those in need. So today, we're taking a look at this, the Neewer USB 200 condenser microphone. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, I do want you guys to know that I have used various Neewer products over the years with great amounts of success. I reached out to Neewer personally to ask them if I could review this mic specifically because it was a relatively new arrival that was lacking in reviews. And while they were kind enough to send the mic to me for this review, it's not going to change what it is that I have to say about the mic. So do also know that this review will remain genuine and factual. And while we're discussing the microphone, we're going to use the microphone. For the price, the build quality of this microphone is stellar, boasting an all-metal body and grill with enough weight to feel like you're holding a quality microphone, but not so much weight that it becomes cumbersome. And from the pictures, I honestly thought that I'd end up throwing the desktop stand in the trash. It's built every bit as robust as the microphone, and then some. I, I couldn't find an ounce of plastic on it. It also comes with a USB cable that's fairly robust and comes in at about six and a half feet long and a cheap windscreen, which you know, it is what it is. Honestly, as far as the build goes, my big complaint comes with the ring that holds the microphone. Everything else is made completely of metal or predominantly of metal, but what I would consider to be one of the most integral parts of the whole system, the ring, is made of plastic and the threaded area that screws onto the bottom of the microphone, I have no problem believing would be very easily stripped if you're not careful. That part specifically feels like very cheap plastic. That being said, Neewer does make some affordable shock mounts, as you see me using here, which I think are always worth having anyway, and I think that would probably be a safer bet than the included ring. As far as the sound goes, the microphone is crisp, clear, and clean, but obviously lacking in body. I consider myself to have a relatively low speaking voice, and I find myself thinking that if it were any higher than it is, it would probably come across as very harsh and unpleasant on this microphone. Now, you can of course get right up on the microphone to take advantage of the proximity effect, which does help some, but you are then subject to louder mouth sounds and stronger plosives. I had honestly hoped that this microphone would be a good backup to my streaming mic, which is the newer NW3U which I love, but when I take into account things like Discord calls or Zoom calls where you can't utilize VST plugins for EQ, I just don't think that this mic would fit the bill for me personally. That being said, I did find this microphone to be incredibly easy to EQ, even using the free Reaper VST, which you can use through OBS for your streamers out there. A boost of the lows, a little bit of a dip in the highs, and a few troublesome frequencies cut away, and you've got a totally usable sound. If you absolutely need a microphone that is ready to go right off the bat without any kind of tweaking being done, then I would honestly suggest looking elsewhere. However, if you're willing to spend a little bit of time tweaking with an EQ, then I can assure you that this is not the worst option available. Now before we end this video, just for the sake of some fair comparisons and keeping it in the family, so to speak, I'm going to bring out my Neewer NW700 and NW3U microphones so you can hear how they measure up with each other. This is the Neewer NW700, and at the time of this video, it retails for about $19.99. Now this is an XLR microphone, so I have it running into my laptop through a Focusrite Scarlett 6i6 interface. I picked up two of these for my Adapt Overcome podcast, and while the build quality is decent for the price, the audio that it produces is, in my opinion, absolutely unusable without a lot of post-processing. For a palate cleansing, we're back to the USB 200. Now, while it's obviously still lacking in body, compared to the NW700, this mic does away with a lot of that nasally lo-fi radio sound that the NW700 has, making this a much more pleasant sounding microphone. And now, I'm going to bring out what I consider to be the best of the three, which is also my current streaming microphone, the NW3U. And here we are. 
When I first picked up this microphone, it retailed for about $17. Within a few months, jumped up to, I think, $27. And then for some strange, sad reason, shortly after that, it was discontinued. Now, while this microphone is an all-plastic body, I am to this day blown away by the sound that it produces for the price tag. And if you've ever popped into one of my Twitch streams, this is the microphone that you've heard. Now, while there are certainly better options out there, I don't think that anyone could honestly say that this doesn't sound amazing for the price tag. So, uh, Niwer, bring us more mics like this. So if you're interested in the Niwer USB 200 microphone, it currently lists for $31.49 on Amazon.com, and you can find the link in the description down below. And even though this microphone didn't exactly meet my expectations, I want to say thanks to Niwer for sending it out to me to review. And thanks to you for watching said review. If you enjoyed this video, you know, maybe consider doing the things that people on YouTube ask you to do.